What is going on guys? It is Rex here today. We are back once again with yet another one versus one Rex duel today. I already feel scummy, but Kali got through this because this guy does not give a shit about about any Jesus, anything else. Okay, and he went Hades. <laughs> he was about to go Hades versus Kali. He's crazy. Ooh, do I want the Ice Walker skin? So basically, I feel gross doing this, but we are going to be doing the scummy, the grossest app wash build in the game. Oh god, I already feel so gross. Okay, so what we're basically going to be doing is... Oh wait, I'm hoping it's a magical. No, this ruins the build. Okay, well it, it's still good. So... This is the majority of how the build works. Uh, I don't know what relics get actually. I want uh, definitely beads actually. <laughs> actually, we're gonna go tier one Bancrofts. And uh, yeah, right. we're gonna go tier one Bancrofts just for a bit of extra clear, get an extra bit of power, um, get a little bit of early game life steal, a little bit of everything, yeah, good damage. And then we're gonna or before we finish Bancrofts, we're gonna rush boots for mobility. Then we're gonna go to Genjis. And normally, if you're up against a physical that is max, that is instantly max CDR. So it's pretty scummy, especially on Upwash. You can like reset his cooldowns pretty much. And you know, this actually isn't the worst matchup in the world. Upwash is definitely bad. That is no, that is a given. There is no doubt about that. Oh shit! Nice. I don't know what he's doing. Fuck! Come back, please! No! No! Okay, so yeah. Uh, basically, you get a shit ton of CDR. Your cooldowns are practically reset non-stop. Um, so you did get changed uh, so that his... I think his 2 is more damage? I have it open here in one second. I'll check it in just a sec. But I know he is a little bit stronger. He's still not obviously... Nearly as strong as he needs to be. Oh! So close! Yes! Woo! I'll take it. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Damn right. Alrighty, that is awesome. Oh, that stuff is perfect, man. Okay, we're gonna shell as well. That's fantastic. I like it. I like it a lot. The build has begun! Okay, so let's take a quick peek at the uh, the patch notes here. So he was changed so that his corpse explosion does. So I'm gonna get one more of these. Okay, so increased initial damage from 60 to 90, decreased damage per corpse from 60 to 55. Oh my god, that's like nothing. So it decreased the damage per corpse by five, but increased the initial damage to fucking 90. Or by 30? What the hell? That doesn't make sense. Hell, I'm not complaining. Actually, yes I am. I hate a push. What am I talking about? This shit's scummy as hell. <laughs> okay, so maxing the two is definitely the play then. Because it's not per corpse. Actually, at what rank? No! Oh my god. Stay away. Okay, I don't want to fight you actually because we have macros. What? Okay, how many? When does it increase the amount of corpses? So I'll put like one more point in my one for the extra corpses. Because it only does five per corpse. And then from now on, we'll max to two. Okay, so that, that's fine. I like that. No! Okay, okay, well, if I'm gonna beat them, you might as well hold. I, like I said, I definitely should not have fought him in this situation. Damn it. God, he got blight on me, dude. Oh, I didn't think he got blight on me. That's rough. Okay, that's fine. A bit of a rough patch here, but it's okay. I think we still got this. <clears throat> so I think we do win this late game, maybe. Uh, although we are a character without an escape. Damn it. 
We are a character with, uh, damn it, without an escape, which kind of sucks uh, against Hades. But we do have the power of poking him really easily, and that's the one thing that Hades struggles with more than pretty much every other character, or every other mage, for some. Is that I'm playing against a lot of Hades lately. I really like this skin. Oh my god, the auto attack animation is perfect. I like it a lot. The way he just throws it. Oh, it's dope. Okay, cool. Anyways. Yeah, late game Hades, like, the anti-heal is definitely going to be, or the, uh, the stun is definitely going to be super useful and all that. How long does it take? Four seconds? Took a steam or second of the duration. The duration is four. Okay, so it's a four seconds to take the damage. Cool. That's fine. But we do have the power of poking on our side. You see. You think people would be happy about that? My girlfriend was pissed. Oh! <gasps> Jesus! Okay, so, um... That was a lot of damage. I will... I do see so myself. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I have a late game, like I said, and uh, I've gone up against a lot of Hades lately. I have definitely noticed that I think pretty much majority of the mages beat Hades late game. Hades' early game is obviously extremely strong. If you're careful, you build a lot of HP. I definitely should have went to Warlocks in this build, but I really wanted to go with the Scum build, because I, I, cause that's like the idea of this build, uh, this video. Because we're about to get max CDR. If we pick up blue, we're max CDR. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Um, as long as we uh, finish up our mages blessing here. That is just absurd. But yeah, you know for a fact you cannot fight me. Wow, I missed friggin' minions. Whoops. Oh wait, no, I hit him with three, that's fine. Okay, so we finished Mage Blessing, it's blues down a little bit. I'll get a bit of time on that here in a second. It's probably being Pestilence, but yeah. If we were to pick this up... Oh my god, what the... Oh my god, I really messed up here. Wow. Fuck. Oh! It's full HP. I can't believe he got that. I was waiting on the tick damage to finish him off there. Huh? Like that, huh? Is that nice? Hmm? What the fuck is this FPS, dude? Oh my god, I just got juked. Bro, the juke shoot! Please die! No! No! It's no good. Damn it. I just got some sh crazy FPS issues. Why was that a thing? Something happened? Something happened. But I have no- What, you need back? Did your blue just spawn there? Well, that kind of sent me back a little bit. Um, not like- Not like, a, like insanely badly, but it's still not good by any means. Like, I'm basically getting my blue- Oh, right, he got my blue. <laughs> right. I forgot. Never mind. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Beats are down. I need to outlive his burst. Warlocks would have definitely been better here overall, but we are going with the scum build. Which is the idea of this, like I've said. Hey, Mr. Hades, what you doing? Oh my god, you got blight on me there. Bruh. Fuck! No! <laughs> yeah, we can pick these up. Num num num. Wow, you little shit. It's fine. That's not fine. Man, I am certainly not used to, uh... Oh my god, you little shit. 
I'm certainly not used to Upwatch this 3. I keep missing it. And it, all of his abilities, rather. I'm struggling with. I don't know if there's no light on me. I'm okay. Fuck. What the fuck? How the hell did I hit him? Damn it! Jukesus! Thank God. Turn that corner, I would have been so pissed. Yeah, I'm trying to use my corpses effectively, but it's really difficult. He's making sure to really go out of his way to destroy them, which is obviously pretty smart. If he rotates to this, I'm so fucking screwed. I really don't know what relic to get against him as a second relic here. We are going to need a divine as early on as possible. We will fit gem into our build, which is, you know, the core essential of the sort of scum build. It's uh, max CDR. Like we have right now. It's even better than versus a physical, if you think about it. Because we get the passive of Genji's as well as full CDR rather than just the full CDR part. It's pretty good. Even thorns. I'll go thorns as well. I don't care. Whatever. I'm down. Let's boogie. I'm really struggling with my one, though. I don't know why. <clears throat> Once we get the bottom line, we'll be in a good spot. We'll get ourselves a gem of isolation. Good bit of health. Maybe what, I don't know what we should finish this build off with, though. Your middle tower is under attack. Dying, Ollie. I really don't. I don't have... Man, if I literally would have survived. Oh, so close. I can't keep up with this lifesteal, like I said. I need Divine. I thought I might have been able to fight him there, but that Thorns of his was really, really nicely played. He had Shell as well, which is obviously really good with his Bancrofts because, you know, it doesn't affect the actual passive of it because it just gives him a little bit of extra health, so that kind of sucks. That's whatever. Hopefully, we can win this if we get late game. Um. When I was hell, I think I had a better better shot just because I had that movement speed as well as the cleanse. The, the problem with that Posh is just that he has no escape, man. That's just like his obviously his biggest issue. Some gods are like majority of gods that don't have escapes, they have some sort of like, either they're passive or something, kind of a has like a an equal it equals out with the effect of uh, no or an ability. So it's not like a dash, but it also, you know, it helps with them. Helps them with that sort of situation. I feel as if Outwash doesn't really have that. He has his corpses, right? Which reset his, resets his, uh, his health and whatnot. And his cooldown on his one, I guess. Which is obviously good. I should be using a little more, but he is... It's difficult when I'm throwing them out there to get close, because I gotta keep, like, I gotta focus on poking, but at the same time... Like, look. I use it when he does that, right? So I can't get in range of those corpses. If I do, then I die. Then I'm putting myself in a more awkward position. By doing so. You know? You feel me? Oh, that was good. Wow. You will return with dawn. I just died. 
I just kind of died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I popped thorns there too. I thought I might have been able to outtrade him with that burst, but Your middle tower is under maybe my one was misplaced or something. I think that might have been it. Maybe I missed the one. Although, even if I hit it, I don't think it would have killed him. He's going Warlocks, which, like I said, is smart. Maybe we'll finish our build with the Warlocks, because why not? Definitely not smart to build it uh, so late in the game, but, you know, it's better than never. If we can get it online, it would most definitely be useful for us. He definitely did my blue. Check his blue, though. The reason I didn't why I didn't beads in the previous engagement was just because uh, I was we were both going for, like, you know, balls to the wall attempting to... Oh my god, now he didn't have to divine that fight. We we're, were both, like, committing completely to that. And if I was to beads, I definitely would have been out, been out of range in time, I don't think. And even if I was, I'd have been super low, and he still would have been able to catch up and kill me. Since, you know, <clears throat> no escape kind of does stuff like that. See, like, I saw that coming, right? So I know what he's going to do. No damage without the. Shell's really working out for him. Shell's such a good item on Hades, jeez. Okay, well. <clears throat> See, some. I feel as if some gods can easily get to the uh, the late game. Damn, so close. I feel as if a lot of gods uh, can withstand Hades' early game. Like, I feel, like, I still think that Aposh would probably, probably not, don't take my word on this, but probably. Maybe win late game. I'm not entirely certain, but I think... Oh, also, I think I just remember what happened. When he ulted me there, I think my one was actually so close to him that I... Like, since he was right in front of me and, I, and he was ulting me, I think I absorbed my one, so it didn't actually place down the stack, so it didn't do the additional damage there. That kind of changes the matchup now. Okay, never mind. Maybe Hades just does win this for a number of reasons now. <laughs> Uh-oh. Because, like... I feel as if it's too hard for Upwash to make it past the early game stages of this uh, this matchup here. Like it's not like it's like I, he would he would do so much better late game. Although you know now that I'm thinking about it and all that, oh shit. And now that I'm thinking about it, even harder. Like it's probably even more difficult. Like uh, than I realized because of his uh, his ultimate and stuff. And, you know, how my one actually works with it. Well, we can try and include a wave here. Unfortunately, we didn't get most of it. That's fine. Well, we tried our very best. I think that is going to be game, though. He's going to heal off of that and then just end. We will see, though. We will see. Yeah, we got a good 10 seconds, that's game. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy watching or learned a thing or two, please leave me a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos like this. Anyways, I'm going to quickly glance over the builds and let you know my thoughts. Can't win them all. It happens. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. Okay, cool. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Rise, my pretties. GG's. Alright, so, let's go over the builds. His build, 110% better than mine. Uh, because of the, the Warlocks there, I think that was... Um... I can't... I, I, I think... I think what he did there was, like, the appropriate thing to do, rather than... Because I was thinking he could go Mage's Blessing, and then rush the Warlocks, Boots, Defense, and then your Bancrofts, right? But... 
I think it was actually kind of smart to get the Bancrofts online early if you still was to go into Warlocks, because he went Pestilence, he already had a good bit of health to sustain my burst, right? The Bancrofts will not only give him a bunch of, a uh, bunch of huge amount of healing early game, uh, but it's a crazy amount of power, and I'm not going to have anti-heal online until like the, what, fourth or fifth item. So him to have it online that early is so good, because I can't really counteract it until, you know, I get Divine. Which, or Pestilence even, which, which isn't going to do all that much, but. So it's so difficult to stop his early game, and you know, like, it, it improves his early game, makes it more difficult for me to get late game, whereas, you know, I have the advantage. Or at least I do a little bit better than I obviously would early game with no escape and stuff. So I think the root he went was actually perfect. Uh, rushing Bancrofts into Boots, Pestilence was good, into that Warlocks, then Divine. Um, I probably would have went a percentage pen here, though, instead of uh, whatever he's going. Um... He was doing a bit of damage, obviously, but I feel as if uh, some Pan would have done him some more justice. If I was building seriously and didn't go for the whole... The scummy app wash build, which is, you know, like, it's pretty simple all around. It's the, the, the basis of the build is just made just Blessing, Cooldown, Boots, uh, Cooldown, uh, Protections, and then Gem of Isolation. Um, but I would have I would have rushed to Warlocks, Boots, my Cooldown item, uh, which would be Genji's here, or Pestilence, either one. And then I would have went into my Bancrofts or Divine, most likely Divine, because you know it's Hades. Uh, and then I would have either went, I could have went Bancrofts, uh, although I might not have here, but I would have went a Gem, uh, and then finished out the build with something else, maybe like a Poly, depending on the situation, uh, a number of things. We could have went uh, Relics. Beads were definitely necessary, I'm not sure about sh uh, Thorns though, I don't really know what other Relic I could have went here, maybe a Shell would have been okay, but it's still, it's iffy, knowing what to get here. Uh, it's definitely good for a little bit of anti-heal uh, when you upgrade it and stuff, but... Well, I don't know, maybe a sprint, keep our distance, uh... Could've went an onk, could've went a number of things. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.